cigar review. Uh, today I have for you the Don Pepin Garcia Blue Label. Uh, we've done quite a bit of Don Pepin stuff. We just have not gotten to the Blue Label for some reason. I have for you the 5x50 uh, Robusto which is also known as the Invictos. Uh, they have uh, this bl particular blend has 10 different Vitolas uh, so quite a large array of sizes for, for a blend. The uh, blend is a Nicaraguan Puro. It's a uh, Oscuro, or a, a Corojo Oscuro wrapper. It's a beautiful looking stick. It's dark, uh, dark, uh, you know, nice sheen to this wrapper. There's no, it's not really oily, it's pretty dry, but uh, it's a very nice uh, looking, uh, very, very nice looking wrapper on this stick. The, uh, I've done, I've had quite a bit of these uh, over the years. It's obviously not a new cigar by any stretch, but we haven't done it, so I figured I'd let you know how we feel about it. Uh, particularly, you know, Don Pepin for me, I've, you know, obviously put the uh, black label at the top of my list of all-time favorite smokes, so kind of has a special place for me. The uh, blue label is uh, a very good cigar in its own right, but uh, we're going to go through it here today and we'll, we'll let you know kind of what we get out of it and what I, or what I get out of it and, and, you know, how it compares to, to, for me, how it compares to some of his other stuff. But... It's a very nice aroma on this cigar, you know, it's, uh, you know, the typical barnyard tobacco, it's tobacco uh, aroma, but uh, the, you give it a real quick cut here, snip off the end, pre-light, <clears throat> pre-light you get that nice spicy sensation in the back of your throat, it's a, uh, you get it from obviously from a lot of Nicaraguan smokes and especially from uh, Pepin stuff, but this one has a really nice uh, dry, dry draw or, or, or flavor. It's uh, it's there's just something about it that that seems to stick out more than the others. But I'm looking forward to this. Uh, like I said, I've had quite a bit of these actually more recently, but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to having this one, and we'll we'll get through this first third and let you know how it's going. Okay, through the first third here of my Don Pepin uh, Blue Label Invictos. The uh, flavors on this cigar are very good. You get that initial kick of spice uh, that is actually, after the first couple puffs, mellows out. It's still definitely there. It's pretty prominent, but uh, it definitely mellows out from that first kick. The, uh, the flavors, the base flavors in this are a very nice woodsiness, uh, almost an oakiness, but uh, very nice. It has a nutty component too, and that, that's kind of what differentiates it too from the uh, the uh, what I get out of the black label. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, a roasted, uh, whether it's roasted peanut or, or like a, an almond, maybe. Uh, just very, you know, it's just that essence of that flavor. It's not really like I'm eating an almond, but it, it's that essence that that kind of the aftertaste you get from it, that sort of thing. But so far, the flavors have been going good. Uh, the draw on the stick, construction-wise, the draw on the stick is perfect. I didn't mention that in the pre-light, but it's absolutely perfect. Uh, it's burning great. Uh, holding on there, a nice tight ash there, but uh, things are going well. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Beautiful day here in Maryland. I'm sitting here, uh, actually, while I'm smoking to try and update uh, our uh, index. Since we, it seems we haven't done that since before Thanksgiving, so trying to get that updated and do that while, while I'm enjoying this cigar, but just sitting out here in beautiful weather, uh, finally starting to warm up a little bit, and uh, enjoying myself with this uh, Don Pepin Blue Label, but I'm going to smoke through uh, the second, third, and I'll be back to fill you in. Alright, welcome back. 
the second third of my Don Papine Garcia blue label is now complete. Um, construction wise starting off that way still holding on to uh, an ash it's a little flaky a little flowery just doesn't mean anything just something to be aware of again the uh, burn is still going pretty good I haven't had to touch it up but it's getting wavy and it straightens itself out and so again as long as I don't have to touch it up it's, it doesn't matter to me flavors on the stick are good it has at the beginning of the second third it really came together the flavors kind of blended better than they did in the first third much more balanced uh, and as I progress through the second third, the spice is, is really mellowed, really mellowed quite a bit. And that nuttiness is still there. The base flavor of a woodsiness is still there. And there's, it's gotten really creamy. Um, very good. No, you know, the finish is, is, is quick. Nothing lingering on the palate. Uh, it's uh, very enjoyable at this point. Um, but, you know, not much else to say. The, uh, at this point... Um, you should have seen by now the uh, contest that Charlie put up on Sunday. It's our March contest. The uh, prize is excellent. I mean, uh, Drew, the people at Drew Estates uh, really appreciate them uh, hooking us up with a prize, a prize pack for this contest. It's it's pretty incredible as far as what you're getting out of it. You're getting the sampler, the five pack of the new uh, Hoya de Nicaragua. You're getting a Liga Pravada sampler and, and an acid T-shirt. Uh, pretty, pretty darn good selection of smokes right there. So the thing to remember on that, different than what the, uh, these guys did uh, on their previous uh, post contest, I'll call it, what they did about last year, about March time frame again. This time, if you don't get in uh, and, you, and you start seeing that, before it was totally based on points, but now you get points, but those points are just going into a drawing. So even if you don't get into the end of the month or or you, you forget a few days, don't let that discourage you because, you know, keep posting, keep providing feedback to us. Um, and, uh, you know, because it doesn't matter, you still, you'll still be entered in that drawing for that, for that awesome prize. But, uh, you know, we, we do stuff like this because we like the feedback. We appreciate the feedback for one. Two, it really helps us, uh, you know, understand what people are looking for and it helps us, uh, you know, put our reviews together with that in mind and, and give you guys a you know, as good a content as possible, at least. So, but get in on that review. Uh, I'll put the link here in the uh, thing. But definitely, or uh, the, sorry, that contest. I'll put the link here in the uh, written section. But definitely get in on that. But I'm going to continue to smoke my Don Papine Blue Label. Uh, I'm mean, really enjoying it though so far. So let's see how it finishes, and uh, we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, folks. Back here with the end of my Don Papine Garcia. Blue Label Invictos. The uh, last third of this cigar is actually what I consider the best part. The uh, flavors, you know, like like in the second third, are very well balanced. That woodsiness, that nuttiness, uh, a, a little bit of cream, and the spice comes back uh, from the second third, just a bit, um, but enough so it's more noticeable. And that pepper spice is is goes really well with that oakiness and it's it's one of my again favorite attributes you've heard me say that before but or favorite combinations I should, should say but the cigar has been really good it's burned great the I did have to relight it it went out on me um, I didn't think I let it sit too long but it went out on me one time but it happens not a big deal uh, so these cigars uh, for me are, are a staple in my humidor I do not like them as much as the black label but uh, I do enjoy them immensely. So this, this, this particular stick was very good throughout construction-wise and, and very good flavor-wise. Uh, there's a little more complexity to some of the other ones. I just think some of the other ones are more full in flavor, uh, which, which I like better. But great cigar. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. The, don't forget the contest. And uh, that's it for me. So remember, folks, nothing beats a nice tight action.